Bible prophecy is Russia and Israel to me. And where are we today in Bible prophecy concerning war in the Middle East? Where are we in Bible prophecy? We are in Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39. The prophet Ezekiel presents the first God may God war as being between Russia and Israel in the near future. According to Ezekiel, Russia will organize a massive land invasion of Israel, bringing with her the armies of Persia, which is Iran. Togarma is Turkey. Syria is still Syria. Ethiopia is the Sudan. And Gomer is Germany. For those of you who are hearing this, please know that Ezekiel wrote this 3,000 years ago. And it is exactly happening now for the first time in human history. Remember that Russia and Germany are in business together via the Nord Stream natural gas pipeline that runs from Russia to Germany under the Baltic Sea. What will happen in the God May God battle? A massive military armada is coming toward Israel, and it's going to look so overwhelming that people will say Israel is lost. But there is in the Bible this verse, He that keepeth Israel, keepeth as a military term, meaning to defend. He that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. There is the Genesis 12 promise, I will curse those who curse you. That's God's promise to the, to the Israel people. God will laugh the laughter of vengeance. That laughter of vengeance is recorded in Psalms 2. He will send an earthquake and bury alive a large portion of the Russian-led military force. And remember, God uses earthquakes as a part of his military procedure. Remember when the Israelites rejected the Ten Commandments and God just opened the ground and buried them alive an awesome technique. Secondly, there will be destruction by friendly fire where every man will turn their, their weapons on each other. You will have from seven to nine armies there and they are going to turn on each other in the midst of that earthquake. Many will die from friendly fire and the grand finale will be when God rains stones from heaven and destroys most of the remaining anti-Semitic army who have attacked Israel. The Bible fact is that in Joshua 10, God killed the enemies of Israel with hailstones in the battle of five kings. In Joshua 10:10, 10, 10, it reads that the stones that God sent killed more of Israel's enemy than did the swords of Israel. God's going to do it again in the God made God war. Why? So that Israel and the world will know that the God of Israel is the defender of Israel. How many are going to be killed? Ezekiel 39, 2 in the King James Version reads, I will leave but a sixth part of thee. A sixth part. The translation, God is going to kill 84% of the Russian-led military force so the world will know that the God of Israel, he is God. Those who are left will return to their nations bearing witness that Israel and the Jewish people are indeed the apple of God's eye and Israel is defended by God Almighty. The thing that's important to us is that this was written in Ezekiel 3,000 years ago. And for the first time in prophetic history, it is perfectly aligned for this war to begin. Afghanistan launched the courage for Russia to attack the Ukraine. This is just going to continue and we are going to see our world be totally revolutionized in the next few months because we in America have the weakest leadership in our history who talk about stopping aggression but do absolutely nothing to stop it. 